what's going on because you already know this is um there's what i want to talk about is um there's a lot of gayness going on um i don't know where to start but i just want to say that there's a lot of gayness going on like everybody is so quick to be gay like it's a fashion statement if that makes sense um i was having a conversation with two people um on different occasions one my girl two my boy and um talking with my boy he's like mom i got friends that is bisexual and gay and mind you my son is 13 and it's like it seemed like a lot of kids are going gay you know what i'm saying just off a of gp or something i don't know i i don't know it could be just me but this is what i'm saying you know especially in the project and that's where i'm from um so He's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? They they always, it ain't nothing new. You know, everybody's gay now, mom. I was like, wow, really? Um, talking to my girl about it, she's like, yeah. She was like, it is. it was really hard for people to come out, you know what I'm saying, gay. I mean, she, you know, played straight all these years, you know what I'm saying, and waited till her kids got grown before she made that step of, you know, being with another female. My thing is, it's not, it's not like that no more. And I should be happy, you know what I'm saying, about, you know, with society accepting, you know, the gayness. But at the same time, it's still being separate because you have, like, these banners, you know what I'm saying, with the rainbow pride stuff everywhere. You have these banners saying, you know, homosexuality is accepted and it's like dag you know what I'm saying like you just put me out there so if I want to you know come in I feel totally you know pretty isolated because you done put my name all on the wall pretty much you know what I'm saying and it's like dag it's like people gotta accept me you know what I'm saying because you as a church or you know hotel or swimming venue you know, public places is now, you know, trying to be acceptable, trying to be helpful, I mean, and it's like putting a, a dent in it. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's like, it's, it's putting it out there, like, you know what I'm saying, fine, okay, you're gay, but you're welcomed in here, you know what I'm saying, and it's like, it's not needed, you know what I'm saying, just let me have, you know what I'm saying, some comfort wherever I choose to go. I don't, I don't need you to put a label out there, you know, to let everybody know that the new gay is coming in. You understand what I'm saying? Um, another thing, it seemed like younger people or whoever in between young and old, it seemed like they want to be gay too. I mean, everybody's gay. Like, everybody is gay. And when I was younger, it was like four of us in, in, in a project that was just not gay. I mean, I'm, I'm just, who was gay? Coming up in a project and it's just four of us that's really gay and some of us is just not saying, that's just how it was. It was just not, you know, talked about because if you were gay, you was going to have AIDS or you got AIDS, like point blank, like, that's just how it was put when I was younger my mother accepted it you know what I'm saying I thought she was gonna put me out that's how deep it was like you can get put out your family for even coming talking about you want to be homosexual you know what I'm saying and my mother was like thank God thank God I had a mother like I did because she was like well I knew you was gonna be like that I mean you always been you know what I'm saying tomboyish you know so that that's what was what was up, so I appreciate that. But my father, he made me read the whole Bible and the whole Quran, like 
this is what you're going to do. Like it was a sickness and he was going to cure it with the words of the holy books. And that's how it was back then. How it was back then, it was like a sickness. Like you was either going to have to go to the doctor or be sent away. You see what I'm saying? If you want to be a homosexual, it was like, it was just not cutting it with people. You see what I'm saying? Like, you was not going to be living there and you was going to be liking the same sex. We'll get to fighting with people, you know what I'm saying? Just because we admitted to being, you know what I'm saying, gay. It, it was like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? Like, we went through a lot of stuff to be gay, and it's like now it's just, I don't know, it kind of hurts me, because it's like, damn, you know, you're gay, like, what are you, 10? Literally. Excuse me. And it's like, wow, you know, I don't know, I'm, I'm really jealous of the lesbians and gays today, because they are just so so out there it's like everywhere you look is gay 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 you know what i'm saying i only knew one transsexual out of my life one when i was younger and she used to you know what i'm saying dress as you know what i'm saying a woman she had a gerald curl yes this was in the 80s don't say that but she had a gerald curl she had her nails done but she was a man and she told me this, but she told me that she was a, um, she didn't even use the word transsexual. I don't know what, I forgot what the word it was because I was young. But she was like, she felt like she always been trapped into a man's body and wanted to be a woman. And she hung around my aunt, which is an older woman. Older woman raised me. I was not brought up around gayness. I, I just wasn't. It just so happened that that's what I was attracted to but she used to be with my aunt and you know what I'm saying I always looked at her because for some reason a little part of me admire her you know what I'm saying for even coming out the house looking like that and you're a man and I know that you're a man because you told me but now it's like studs are even saying you know yeah I'm an FTM and I'm, I'm this and I'm that and feminine girls is like Oh, I'm gonna be a stud and da da, da 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 and it's like everything is just going like what the hell? Like everything's just haywire now, you know what I'm saying, with the gayness that's going on. And I'm just so jealous because it's like it's so easy now to be gay. It's so easy. Like you could just wake up the next day and just be like, I'm gonna go ahead and be gay without even having you know what I'm saying, other life things that's going on, I feel like it's being treated as like some type of fad or fa a fashion statement, you know what I'm saying, like, back when I was younger, it was like, you know, you haven't even been with a man yet and all of that, so it was like, damn, you know, they right, I'm looking at it like, yeah, they right, so I tried to do the little straight thing, did that go well, It just didn't, um, you know what I'm saying, not, not because of the attraction, because guys liked it. The fact that I come to the court with the basketball shorts and, it, you know what I'm saying, and my little African caps and stuff like that. Or, you know what I'm saying, even when I was, you know, really, really practicing being a Muslim, I was dressed as a tomboy. You see what I'm saying? And that's how everybody accepted me, guys, females, it didn't matter. So I didn't have to dress a certain way to be straight. But however, I knew I had to get in bed with a guy to be straight. That's how I was thinking. That's how it was brought to me. And now, it was like, how, how was everything going now? It's like, I didn't even have to do that. Like, I could have just went for the gusto. You know, everybody else was going for the gusto. But like I said, it just wasn't that easy for it. And I'm just jealous because everybody is coming out gay and proud of it like i didn't have a chance to just be proud of it unless i was in a party with other lesbians i couldn't just come out with straight people and say that 
Hey, I like females. I, I just couldn't. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. But I guess, you know what I'm saying, time will go on regardless of how I feel. I just want to say that I'm jealous. I hope that, you know, if you are young, that this is something that you want to do. You know what I mean? I hope it's just something you want to do. It's a life, it's a life commitment kind of thing. You can stay in it or you can grow with it. But I hope it's something that you want to do in your heart and not just that person doing it. Why can't I? So that's all I want to talk about. That's all I want to talk about. That's all I want to talk about. And then you know what? My first time being on a female, but I had my clothes on. I got my ass whooped. I was nine years old. And I want to share this with y'all because I still feel the damn belt going across my ass. I was butt naked. The girl told me to hump on her under the bed. And that's what I did. I did that. I did that. And my aunt walked in. She picked me up, pulled my pants down, held me by my ankles, and whooped my ass. Straight up. That was a no-no. Straight up. No. And now, now he rolls is like, oh, I got me a girlfriend. I don't know. I just, whatever. I'm calling them to people.